Hi and welcome to another video. In this video is a follow up to the uh, firmware upgrade um, that was uh, released only a few days ago and that brought it to still firmware version 3 but ended in uh, 0.386.41700 as we went through that it does bring uh, multiple um, features and upgrades so it is worth the upgrade if you are using them again it's always a good idea um, like I said before if you do want to be on the safe side just leave it for a few weeks but I do um, have seen through some of the forums that it's been through public beta already testing so people have already tested it for numerous months uh, before it's released so it should be um, a uh, should have no issues or anything like that but it's always on the safe side if you want to and you're not too tech savvy and you don't want to make sure you have any problems again before you do back up um, your settings you can do that like I showed you in previous videos uh, I'll put a card up um, a top right hand corner uh, to that video where you can then um, back up your settings um, so if you do have any issues with a firmware upgrade or anything like that then you can just restore your settings you can reset your uh, router back to factory settings and then just restore your settings so you don't have to go through them again anyway so moving on so the first one um, as we want to discuss is uh, AI mesh so that's Asus's um, mesh network system uh, Wi-Fi um, so before you had to give up one of your five gigahertz frequency channels uh, as the backhaul channel to connect the two uh, routers together um, so that only left you with the 2.4 and the 5, uh, one 5 gigahertz uh, channel so it wasn't ideal especially having a tri-band um, but now um, with the new settings here as you can see the layout and everything else is much more improved much the user interface is much better um, you have here uh, more information your clients and everything else in the setup so as you can see here, you've got your WAN status and your connection type and your IP address and if it's connected to the internet, your firmware version, but also you can click on clients and networks. So you've got two options there and then it will give you more information about your Ethernet and your wireless uh, 2.4 and the two 5 gigahertz frequencies. If you've got them all enabled. Um, so it gives you all the information in one uh, easy screen. As I said, uh, this one is uh, quite good because now what this uh, AI Mesh 2.0 brings is uh, especially to the GTAX 7000 is uh, you, with Ethernet now. So you can have still have all three of your channels uh, available and it will connect using the Ethernet connect, uh, cable connected to your other router if you have that available. Of course, it's a, a lot more trouble trying to run a cable around the house um, so it is ideal for Wi-Fi most time for people so if you are interested in using the Ethernet option um, what you'll have to do is you go into system settings and then you see here you've got the Ethernet backhaul mode um, that's the easiest option to do is you can just then select the button there and switch it on um, so when you connect and set up your um, the AI mesh and everything else um, around your home it will all, all the time will use the Ethernet cable and also will make available all three of the network channels as you see it does have some more information here um, around it so you, you can get more information and everything else and as it says here it says there to release more wireless bandwidth for end devices to connect uh, you can enable the Ethernet backhaul mode so basically it's allowing you the extra five uh, gigahertz frequency as well um, you do have other ones here so the roaming block list if you don't want um, certain devices uh, going away from the main uh, router and of course your refactory reset and a system reboot as well so if you have any problems going back to the topology um, as you can see here it gives you the clients connected um, your home and as you can see from the top here you can choose where that a uh, router is um, if it's in the living room dining room bedroom office and things like that so you can choose the option and as you see here it's got topology so once you do have other devices uh, routers connected um, using this then it'll give you a much more clearer picture of what devices are connected uh, and also um, the topology so the order of how they're connected and everything else 
and there is, again there is more information here and it will tell you between them so it is the user interface is much clearer so you can see it's a wide connection and then you've got the normal connection quality and it'll just go down there and it'll say the quality of the connection is disconnected so it's much clearer now and much more user friendly now moving on to the next feature um, is the new upgrade there we've got for about the VPN uh, so you have there around the new app that uh, Asus has got and is upgraded so again instant guard so as it says here instant guard allows you to build up VPN connection um, with just one click via the uh, apps so that's the apps you download for your iOS or Android phone and you can monitor who's connected to your VPN server uh, with the instant guard and you can enable that and then you can then connect and everything else so that's a quite a good feature as well one of the other main features for security that's very good is now they've upgraded the IPSC version from version 1 to version 2 so it's much more secure um, as you can see here and as you can see here um, I've already got this set up so this is how I connect by VPN to mine and it'll tell you your server IP address so that should be your um, dynamic DNS address um, so it changes your IP from like one 192.168.0.2 to something like uh, my router uh, asus, uh, com dot com um, so it's, it's easier for you to type in and everything else so much secure you still have to complete your pre-shared key um, and then you'll come down there and now it's got about exporting your current certificate um, so for you can choose between for windows and mobile and also you can renew the certificate and uh, so you can see the status the issue um, so that's to your um, your server ip address should be the same above and it's issued from so you can see it'll probably be from um, from asus and when it expires and then also down here username so now what's different is that you can choose between if you just want version one or version one and version two so it's always best to that and then you can set up a new username and password and hit the add button um, and that will add the new user so i'll be upgrading to version two um, so that's another really good feature they've added and I must say Asus is doing a really good job um, with this router and the firmware. They're constantly upgrading, patching security flaws that have come out, especially in Wi-Fi and WPS and adding new features constantly. Um, so it, they're really doing well, um, even though they're, uh, they're probably bringing out new Wi-Fi 6E um, routers and things like that. They're still supporting this and uh, it's good to see that when you spend a good amount of money and this is an expensive router that has to continue support so now we move on to network map so the next as you can see here is when you load up is that now the system status has got a new font and a new look to it so it's a little bit more cleaner and also you can see the authentication modes your network um, 2.4 the 5 gigahertz frequencies and you can see the authentication mode as well you can select from here so you don't have to go into the wireless settings anymore and you, and you can apply all of those settings. The status, so as you can see here, it's a bit more uh, unified now, the color and everything. So um, I have noticed that I've been using the new firmware for a few days. Uh, I've noticed the uh, RAM usage has gone down uh, by about one or 2%. So I don't know if they've optimized something, but it's just good. Um, as you can see you can go all the way down and it gives you LAN IP and all the details about your network um, and then of course then the CPU usage and then you've got the RGB lighting and now you can see it's much clearer um, so you can you can select your options of what option you want or even enable or disable the RGB enable uh, the next one they've upgraded is the uh, view list so now in the view list, you can see at the bottom, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, um, now you have guest network. So all for all three bands, you have your guest networks, if you've got them switched on, and you can clearly see now what devices are connected to which guest network. So that's quite good. And as usual, you can export it if you want to, um, but that's a really good so you can see how it's uh, connected and everything. So the new uh, feature uh, in game acceleration, um, it's own, there's no actual um, feature upgrade or anything like that with it. Um, 
but there is an option now for under internet speed you can register your speed and of course this is powered by speed test um, so you normally use on the internet and you can see here um, where I've done some speed tests and also it gives you a level um, so if you click on where it says level super if you click on there it'll give you an indication of what you can use on your speed of your internet of course your internet uh, mine's supposed to be uh, one gigabit per second um, but again um, to actually receive that and these tests were during the day when it's all busy and everyone's home working as you can still see it says under super so that means it supports many 4k streams and gaming and then you've got ultra and then you've got fast great good and normal so it gives you an idea of your speed but again when you take the speed test they can put a pinch of salt but it's nice to have the feature there and as i said it's good that they're still adding things to and improving uh, within the router and the actual software and everything they're using okay i uh, hope you've enjoyed this video and it's been helpful and uh, thanks for watching and have a good day and please remember to like